Lost Planet 3, jogar pela primeira vez, não conheço nada de jogo, nem joguei um pouquinho antes do que eu costumo fazer às vezes, jogar uns 5, 10 minutos só para ter uma ideia da jogabilidade, dos comandos, dos controles, da mecânica do jogo, mas dessa vez nada. Estou indo totalmente cru. Um jogo de tiro em terceira pessoa, eu gosto de jogo de tiro. Um pouquinho de humor. Seu harmonizador te mas eu te dei o meu. Não há muita energia para trabalhar. Funcionou. Eu estou seguro. Eu acho que sim. Kevin deu-me um cover. Se eles seguirem o plano, eles deveriam ser mais deep antes que outro passe passe. Bom, bom. Um jogo leve. Acho que é de 2013. Não tenho certeza. Vou na descrição, na descrição depois. Na tela nunca vai esquecer no ponto exato. Há tempo que eu estou com um jogo estilo Max Payne 3 que eu gostei demais. Jogo de tiro. Que não tem RPG. Ou seja, tem um mínimo de RPG que eu detesto RPG. Um pouquinho até lá, mas isso é RPG demais. Tudo você tem que parar e escolher, escolher aquilo. Nem saco. Dá uma arma, dá um bandido, deixa eu meter fogo. Você sabe, de volta na Terra. Meu pai acreditou que você tinha que confessar seus pecados. Se você quer ser perdido. Você nunca teve a chance, mas. Talvez isso seja meu. Estou usando o. O Earth foi um lugar troubled quando eu saí. Eu era 32 quando eles me recrutaram. Uma bold e lucrativa oportunidade de ser parte de uma expedição para um mundo inexplorado. Que eu saiba, eu não tenho dublagem sobre isso. Fifty years ago, I knew the consequences of my choices. Fifty years since I damned us all. I think I've played two and the best one is two is better. But it's not available for now on Steam for any problem, any kind of, I don't know, performance, if it's a bug. Tem até uma mensagem lá na página da Steam dizendo que o jogo está indisponível até eles resolveram o problema que está tendo aqui. Eu li, li rapidamente. Né? Enfim. Eu estou vendo o redutor de ruído, né? o cancelador de ruído que tem aqui, ele é muito bom. Né? Eu mal estou ouvindo minha voz falando. Mas não, não esloca totalmente não, é né? sempre faz um pouco, né? Mas dá um diminuído depois no, nos sons externos. Você fica basicamente só focado no som que está dentro dele, né? No, no fone de ouvido. Né? No fone de ouvido. Fone de ouvido. É daqueles fones que cobrem a orelha toda, né? assim, fica em volta da orelha, não fica, não fica nem dentro nem em cima, fica em torno da orelha, que se chama de overia. Tem inia, que é dentro, onia, que vem em cima, e overia, que fica em volta da orelha. Abafa bem. A própria almofada dele já abafa bem, ainda tem o revo. Nós. 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 However, it appears the transponder guiding our welcoming party to this location was lost in the crash. Without that, our odds of survival are remote. I suggest we find it. Stay here while I track it down. Bom, vamos lá, quero começar a jogar. Pronto. Vamos 
Ah, beleza, beleza, já comecei. Explorar lá para o acidente. Eu gosto, né? Beleza. Tem um tutorial lá no início, já tinha um tutorial, né? Vamos lá. Ah, beleza. Eu gosto disso, te mostra o ponto você tem que ir. Eu gosto disso. Doc, eu não acho que estamos aqui. Pula, é. Está pulando lá, não. Eu não gosto disso, não. Eu gosto de pular no A, agachar no B ou agachar no, no gatilho na alavanca esquerda, né? É, não sei. Pode ser que seja contextual, né? Vou pular ou agachar quando for necessário. Oh, 
pronto agora, hein? Vamos lá, ó. Tem marcador de munição, né, cara? Rude, né? place you look. Thanks for the save. I owe you one. Oui, oui. Le roi, c'est moi. <laughs> Time enough for that later. Head back to the supply drop and try not to get stepped on, huh? Kovac, Dr. Kendrick Kovac. Don't call me Kenny. Not on me. But somewhere in that ship I got a 30-06 old family heirloom. No idea where it's packed. Got my pistol though. Good enough. Give me a second. I'm going to retire to the relative safety of the interior. Good luck up here. of indigenous creatures. <laughs> oh, buddy, you're gonna learn to take things Navic tells you with a grain of salt. In fact, some days you might need a bucket of the stuff. You sound like Diaz. Hey, say what you will. She raised some valid questions. Yeah, sure, sure. If you mean she bled out insane conspiracy theories every time you're trying to drink in peace. Why even work for a company if you accuse it of such things? Who's this Diaz? Sounds like a character. She's the one you're replacing. A contractor like you and I. Until she disappeared. Man, this supply drop couldn't have come sooner. We, the bloody stale. And also the pornography. I bet Braddock's got... Oh, son of a bitch! What's happening up there? Have you, you been killed? No, I made it in one piece somehow. What now? Your environment suit is within umbilical range of my ring. You should be seeing extra tactical readouts. Minimap, radar, loadout details, as long as you stay close to the rig. You may conform. Good deal. Use your radar to see advancing enemies. Look now! Hey, Luby, pick up the glowing orange blood the animals leave behind. 
Tá lá embaixo, é, tá escondido, né? Ok? Caramba, eu quero entrar. Caramba, como é que eu aplico essa porcaria, caramba? Agora eu vou voltar aqui e tentar aplicar essa porcaria. Vamos lá. Qual a textura eu quero alto? Detalhe do mundo alto. Detalhe da sombra alto também. Tudo alto. Aplicar as configurações agora. Como é que eu aplico? Aplicou. Sim, cara. Eu quero ver se tinha dublagem em português, não tem, não. Prepare this thing. Yeah, I see the problem. Give me a second. Nubi, know how to repair? First, you have to find the proper repair frequency. Yeah, thanks, boss. I know what I'm doing here. Do it yourself. Você está perfurado tudo isso. Eu 
seen how good this is. Okay, you're all set. Yes, sir. You got in, coming. friend on this base. We all miss Diaz. But I tried to warn you, Nevik would never use that as an excuse until they started seeing results. It's not about Jeanette. You know it's not. Oh, so you're still blaming me, though? I never said that. You didn't have to. You just checked out. They're looking for something that doesn't exist. I'm directing my efforts where the science leads. That used to matter to you. It still does, Bonnie, but this isn't my call. Nevik is footing the bill for this operation. They insisted. And that's it. Not a peep from you. Not a... It's only because of me that you still even have a job here. Oh, yes, a job answering to... Him. Uh, Dr. Kovach, I to see you made it in one piece. Yes, it's been an eventful morning. Phil Braddock, I presume? Mm -hmm. Dr. Roman? Been some time. Feels like yesterday, Kenny. You'll excuse me. Okay. And you must be Jim Payton. You really stepped up out there. You must have a million questions. Yeah, I hope you don't mind being thrown into the deep end. Know, sir, I'm here to work. All I need to know is how a man can earn some credits around here. <laughs> Thermal energy. That's the name of the game. Acred blood? I to tell you, boss, we just spilled gallons of the stuff. Oh, it's well more than that. Flows through everything on EDN3. Creatures, tectonics. All the way down to the core. That's what makes life possible in a climate like this. No other substance like it in the universe. And Nevik believes this can solve the energy crisis on Earth. Oh, I believe it can. We're here to study it. Find a way to make it viable, cost-effective for harvest and export. We are leaving no angle unexplored. Very good. Science is always best, without boundaries. Pete and I got a lot of contracts that'll keep you busy. Construction repairs on the base, but uh, if you want to go home a rich man, you'll take on that hazard pay. Keep us supplied with this stuff. Yes, sir. Just point me to my rig. Peyton, I can't recommend strongly enough that you visit the quartermaster and get yourself a good hunting knife. You've seen how up close and personal the acrid can get. But first, you want to head down to the service pit and inquire with our lead tech, Gale as to the status of your rig. Welcome aboard, Jim. Uh, Doctor, if you'll stay and chat. Sorry you had to see that. You know Bonnie can have a flair for the dramatic. Is that what that was? I assumed it was sarcasm. Usually she just yells at me. Yeah, well, circumstances are a little different now. I'm sure she'll be a cooperative and productive member of your team. Uh, just a second, Doctor. Jay, any word from LaRoche? Not yet, sir. He's not responding to any of our calls. All right, keep me posted. Actual, this is Campbell. I'm in distribution with Ermolev. The East Block pipes are frozen over again. Damn it. We just thawed those. All right, get a gobby over there with the space heaters. That's the problem, sir. He's already thawing condensers at Coronas. Should I pull him off of that? Mm, no, no. Okay, look, uh, make an announcement. Let everyone know we're down to a trickle for now. But uh, contact Agabi and tell him to hurry up. You got it? Roger that. Campbell out. <laughs> Peyton, what are you standing around for? Take that elevator well, down to see Gale and get yourself Uncle squared Gale. away. Ok, meu. Vamos explorar por aqui, conhecer o ambiente. That woman you're replacing, Diaz, she was loved by the crew. Nobody talks about her much after she disappeared. She lost her bearings near the end. It was painful to see. 
Hit Braddock hard. You got big shoes to fill. Just don't die out there, huh? I'll try not to. Welcome to the Coronas Expedition. I believe I have your NDA, contract templates, and union licenses on file. Your standard hazard bonus rates and mileage reimbursement have been uploaded to your union docket. If you have supplemental documents, riders, or provisions you would like to submit at this time, please do so now. I hope you have a lucrative stay, Mr. Payton, if you'll excuse me. Thank you. Can't later. Okay. Navic survival tip number four. Always keep your socks dry while working in extreme frigid conditions. Hypothermia is your greatest enemy, so heat retention and moisture management are key to your survival. Avoid submersion at all costs, and keep a backup pair in your emergency kit. Stay dry, stay alive. Too much of a Nevik toady. But the way he buckles to these crazy rules, man. Here we are in a turf war with these acrid day to day, hour to hour. But if we put weapons on a rig, oh no, then we're not a science op, but a military op, and Braddock doesn't get to be in charge. Like anyone's gonna rat him out for letting us protect ourselves. Cold enough for you? It's never cold enough for Crazy Neil. Ice in me veins. <laughs> Back home, I used to spend summers at McMurdo Base in Antarctica. Long family tradition. My great-great-great-great-grandfather took part in Operation Deep Freeze, and my great-great-great-great-grandmother was a penguin. No, that's a joke, son. You understand? I want to be clear. There ain't nothing funny about sex in a penguin. Not even if they're begging for it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, cute little bastards, but temperamental. Kind of bitchy, matter of fact, but say what you will about them, they hardly ever try to eat your head. You know not to eat the snow, right? Hello, my Luke. Nevik survival tip number three. Don't stray from warm areas without an environment suit. Your Nevik designed suit will keep you warm and safe in even the most inhospitable environments. Be mindful to charge your suit overnight and stay within range of an umbilical field at all times. Stay happy, stay warm. Não tem 
aqui na verdade não. Nossa, que física, né? Que eu... Só quando é conveniente, né? Que funciona a física, né? Bom, vamos prosseguir então em busca de Gale. Aqui é mais, cara. Ah, nem lembro mais. Aí lá mesmo, vai ser lá mesmo. Objetivo não, testar alguma coisa aqui. Consegue entrar aqui? Não, né? Óbvio que não, né? Não consigo fazer nada aqui. O que, que é isso aí? Vamos voltar ao nosso destino. Opa! Travou. Dá uma travada boa aqui, cara. Oi, oi, oi. Pô, conversa comigo, pô. Vocês são muito antissociais vocês. Tem aqui. O perigo mantém se afastado. Hein? Eu rio na cara do perigo. Qual o perigo é, amigo? O que é isso? O que é isso? O que é isso? Capso de energia, claro que eu quero. Vidinha fraca dele, né? Hey. You must be the new Jeanette. I guess. Call me Jim. Jim, how's Sandy? Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? I'm oh, Mr. Braddock. I think you'd have seen him already, but yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know. I hear it all the time. Girl's name. Shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand your concern. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood. I read you. Listen, kid. <laughs> Gail. How about we do the get to know you as while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Are you serious? Yeah, it was shipped ahead in pieces. Now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. 
come again? It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you think on an ice planet. Get it? Ice planet? Because the heat... Kid, went... listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? That is my whole mess deck. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit... And I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Okay. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. Jim Payton, please report to the quartermaster in the basement level. Jim Payton to the quartermaster. If it's at all reassuring, Jeanette was always happy with my upgrades said I had great instincts. This would be the Jeanette that got herself killed? You may not want to make that the crux of your argument. Not gonna lie. That was a little dickish. Bom, deixa eu parar por aqui. Eu já mais. I heard the whole hangar John about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife. Top of the line for up close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. Espingarda, vamos para espingarda. Como é que eu tentei 1510? É isso? É o que dá para comprar também, né? Now that's a sweet one. Pump action, nine shot capacity. Synthetic stock and forearm. She's ideal for your close quarters combat. É, o resto não tem mais créditos, né? See you around. Tá beleza, da loja? Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie. E a sua me mecanotriz? Seguindo o mapa lá, o radar, né? A Bahia tem que ir para essas baías de mecanotriz aí, ó. Your 
not currently covered by Nevic insurance. You are not required to Jim's heading out, so let's prep the rig, people! this though. Oh, you ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile current retractors. I like to call it the cockpit express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoop. And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. Vamos esse louco. Chief, Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton, is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. That French fella still not back? Yes, I'm afraid he hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, why don't I go have a look for him? I know where we parted ways, and he did save our butts just a little. Say no more, Payton. You've got your first assignment. Good luck. Ah, beleza, vou parar por aqui, depois eu jogo mais. Valeu, até o próximo. Interessante, acho que vou continuar jogando. Vamos ver. Por favor, ajudem o canal. Assistam os vídeos, inscrevam-se, né? curtam, ativem as notificações, tocando no sininho, compartilhem. Se puderem, por favor, comprem pelos links da descrição. Vocês não pagam um centavo a mais e ajudam o canal a crescer. Se puderem, assistam ao menos 30 segundos dos anúncios, cliquem nos anúncios. Por favor, dêem uma força para o canal para... Eu vou continuar produzindo. Obrigado. Bem, isso é tudo por hora. Até o próximo. E juízo até lá, hein? E pessoal, vamos disseminar conhecimento e principalmente amor. Muita precisando de conhecimento e de amor.